boys and girls. It's Marcy Chevalis. Welcome to Story Time. Today's story is called This Little Scientist, a Discovery Primer by Joan Hullub and Daniel Root. Little scientists make great big discoveries. I'm excited to learn about the discoveries these little scientists make. Are you a science lover? I love learning about science and when I was little, science was one of my favorite subjects. I wonder if it's yours too. Let's read along to see about the discoveries these really cool scientists made. For all you AR readers, this is a book that's an AR book. It's level 4.2 worth a half a point and its quiz number is 503-501. Let's grow! Asking why, then make a guess. Asking how, then proving the test. Little scientists make great big discoveries. Isaac Newton. This little scientist said we walk on the ground because gravity stops us from floating around. Isaac Newton also found a rainbow of colors called a spectrum inside a beam of light and figured out three rules for how objects move. That's really cool, Isaac. Let's see who's next. Hmm. This is Maria Sibylla Marion. This little scientist painted bugs everywhere, laying eggs, eating leaves, even flying midair. Maria Sibylla Marion's paintings explain such things as how caterpillars turn into butterflies through a change called metamorphosis. Very cool. She's a scientist that has used painting to help in her science. Maybe you're a scientist and you love science and you love art just like Maria did. And she brought her two loves, her two passions together to help her become an amazing scientist. Marie Curie. This little scientist did experiments to show that atomic energy made uranium rocks glow. Marie Curie studied invisible atoms that give off energy particles she named radioactivity. She was the first person to win two Nobel Prizes in chemistry and physics. Woo, way to go, Marie. Albert Einstein. This little scientist had wild white hair. He was famous for writing E equals mc squared. Albert Einstein's equation means that energy and mass are the same thing in different forms. He said nothing can go faster than the speed of light. 186,282 miles a second. Ooh. Grace Hopper. This little scientist wrote code that was new to tell computers in words what we want them to do. Grace Hopper programmed computers in words instead of numbers. She popularized the term computer bug when a moth flew inside her computer and broke it. Katherine Johnson. This little scientist got the math right to help NASA astronauts launch outer space flight. Katherine Johnson solved hard math problems on paper before trusted computers were available so space heroes like John Glenn could safely orbit the Earth. Very cool, Katherine. If you like math like she did, you can help astronauts. Man, that's really neat. Jane Goodall. This little scientist studied chimpanzees and made friends with them among Africa's trees. Jane Goodall discovered that chimps hug their friends and make tools like spoons out of sticks. Before this, people thought only humans made tools. Maybe you'll be a scientist like Jane who likes to explore animals and learn interesting things about them, helping us understand them. Sa Lan Wu. This little scientist has a brilliant spark. She helped find particles called gluon and charm quark. Sa Lan Wu studies particles, the smallest building blocks of our universe. In atoms, protons, and neutrons are made of quarks stuck together by gluons. 
very cool. She studies things that are so small we can't even see them with our eyes. Stephen Hawking. This little scientist studied outer space surprises like mysterious black holes that form in many sizes. Stephen Hawking made big news by explaining how some particles might escape black holes, which have gravity so strong that everything nearby falls into them. Neil deGrasse Tyson. This little scientist helps us understand how our universe works and how it began. Neil deGrasse Tyson visited the Hayden Planetarium as a boy and got excited about stars and planets. He grew up to be the director of the planetarium. Quarks, robots, or DNA? What would you like to discover someday? Zhang Hang built the first seismoscope with bronze dragons that drop balls to tell when an earthquake happens. That sounds pretty awesome. Galileo Galilei argued that the sun is the center of our solar system and planets like Earth move around it. Carl Linnaeus created two-word genus species naming system for all animals and plants. People are homo sapiens. George Washington Carver invented products made from peanuts, soybeans, sweet potatoes to help farmers, including peanut shampoo. Have you ever heard of peanut shampoo? I haven't either. That's pretty neat. Howard Carter. This archaeologist discovered King Tut's gold mask mummy in a tomb full of riches in Egypt. So exciting. I love studying ancient Egypt and that is really neat that he, he was the one that found King Tut. Alfred Wegner. This geologist found clues that Earth's continents were once joined together, then moved apart. That's called the theory of Pangaea. Annie Easley. One of the first NASA scientists, she wrote computer code to study new electric batteries for rockets and hybrid cars. Patricia Bath. America and the American Institute for the Prevention of Blindness co-founder and inventor of the laser phaco probe, an eye surgery tool. So wow, she was really helping with help people to see better. Really cool, really cool discoveries and science that she did. Mario Molina helped discover a hole in the ozone layer, a part of Earth's atmosphere that protects us from too much sun. Mary Anning, this paleontologist found a dinosaur skeleton when she was about 12 years old. Wow. Charles Darwin wrote a famous book about animal species changing over millions of years on the Galapagos Islands. Louis Pasteur proved that germs cause diseases and that vaccinations can protect us from getting sick. Srinivasa Ramanujan, a poor boy who taught himself math then dreamed up amazing new math formulas. Rachel Carson, she studied how oceans work and alerted people that some chemicals hurt plants and animals. Rosalind Franklin, photographed a tiny twisted ladder called DNA that tells our bodies how to live and grow. Cynthia Brazil designs social robots to understand human feelings and help children learn. Mariam Mirzakhani. This mathematician studied curved shapes and surfaces and was the first woman to win the Fields Medal. You, what? Will you discover someday, maybe one day, we'll be writing a book about you. Well, that's the end of the story, friends. If you enjoyed the story, don't forget to click the like button below. If you want to hear more stories, don't forget to click the subscribe button as well. Until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.